Hi, I'm Lee. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm a short, overweight, middle-aged white dude. I've got thinning brown hair, black gloss, and I'm wearing a light blue t-shirt with my logo on it. Pretty cool, right? And I'm sitting in my test model Y because in this video, we've got another update. Now, not as big an update as we had a few weeks ago, but this is adding quite an interesting feature. Having a look here in the release notes, this is Tesla Vision Park Assist for cars with USS, which is Universal uh, Sonic Sensors, any ultrasonic sense there we go so uh, i think since sort of like around the middle of last year model threes and model y's at least here in australia didn't come with ultrasonic sensors and they only came with cameras and so like park, auto park and things like that weren't working because they hadn't updated the software which not ideal um and those of us who had the older cars with the sonic sensors still could do it and so this update now gives us this um feature for the cars with the sensors. I believe the cars with the cameras only have had this feature for a while now, um, but let's jump in and have a read what it says. So you can now choose to enable Tesla Vision Assisted displays a high vanilla 3D representation mm, of the area around your vehicle, including the proximity and shape of nearby objects, barriers, shape of objects, <laughs> we'll get into that. To enable, go to settings, auto park. Park is this for guidance purpose only and is not a substitute for an alert driver. Remain attentive and avoid obstacles as required. So, yeah, let's see how useful or not useful it is. So where this feature actually is, is if we go into autopilot and it's down here with park assist. And if you tap on that little eye, it'll give you more information on that again. So again, it's that, that information, basically what it is. So let me show you how the parking assistance sort of system sort of works before this came in so you had when you're reversing or driving slowly at any speeds so let's go ahead and reverse and you can see that car right next to us is fairly solid and we can see if we go forwards that the space in front of us we've got 85 if I go a little bit forwards it loses it because that's a pole in front of us and it's not seeing the lip of that but you could have but you saw that, that with the sensors because it's actually got sensors it could show you with sensors in numbers how far or close the things are and then if we go ahead and reverse just make sure there's no one around no we're all good so let's go ahead and reverse into an empty spot and hopefully the sensors will pick up that rather large lip there we go and you saw there that it showed in numbers how far it thought but as the sensor went over the numbers it didn't show me diddly now let's go and switch to the new system so we go to autopilot we go to tesla vision and you can see that now we get this blobby thing i don't know why it shows us a blob where like before it showed us the solid things you can see that car just drove past me i'm, I'm not sure why i can't just show us solid stuff maybe the software needs to say I, I, I don't know but now instead of numbers it shows me colors so if I drive away from that lip the colors lose color and get gray and then if I back up into it you see that it starts getting yellow, then starts getting orange, and as I get closer and closer and closer, now it's telling me to stop now. I'm, I got plenty of space still left to go, because I could still go all that much more before I actually had to stop. So I've found this Tesla Vision stuff is actually not as accurate as the sensors, and unfortunately, I don't know, but it appears that when you're, you can either have one or the other so if you turn on the, the vision it only uses the camera if you turn off the vision then it only uses the sensors maybe the camera's a little bit as well i don't know but basically if you turn on the vision it doesn't use the sensors as well so that's frustrating now one other thing is that i believe with the system it now also gives you a better option to use auto park now the auto park up until now has been a bit rubbish to be honest because you had to kind of drive slowly and then try and hope and pray that the car would notice that you're trying to park but now you see how it shows that little p if i push p 
it asked me which spot do I want to go into and it says shift into reverse now see this is this is the um this looks like the old system now it, it, it has definitely noticed the spot quicker than it normally would and it's doing a pretty I mean let's be honest I could do a better job than this And see, this is the thing with the auto park in the Tesla, is that it's so slow in terms of how it does it. And there we go, it, it failed. I mean, that's this isn't, you know, all that difficult. And it couldn't even manage that. So I... And interesting, so I got much closer this time before it told me to stop. Let's try again, because... I've read, I may have misunderstood, but as I read it, I should be able to just drive around and the car should automatically know that I'm driving past parking spots and then I'm able to select the actual individual parking spot that I want to go into. But ah, So there we go. So it's noticed that those are parking spots. Nope, nope, they're gone. They're gone. Let's try this again. Okay, let's turn around and see if turning around makes any sort of difference. See, this whole thing of using cameras instead of sensors, I would much rather if the car used both. I think the cars should come with sensors and cameras. And let me see, I thought that I'd be able to just tap and select, but it would definitely appear that that is not an option. I'll also add that in order to have the auto park thing, you do have to have enhanced autopilot, which is a $5,000 upgrade. I haven't paid $5,000. I've used re referral points to get it for three months, but yeah, this doesn't come standard on all Teslas. So there we go. That is this new parking thing. Um, I'm not overly impressed, to be honest. Um, I know some other people, there we go. It's just, Okay, so one thing that it is good with is it is noticing that pillar where the previous system wouldn't have noticed that pillar next to me. But it's really not, I don't know, it looks cool. And I suppose, yeah, see, I know I've got some, got a bit more space there. And we're just gonna take that spot. Now, if I was really trusting, I would trust the car to park in the spot for me. I'm not that trusting. I certainly don't trust the system that much. See, it's telling me to stop. And if I stop now, I'm gonna be sticking out. Now's when I should stop. Let me just put it in reverse so we can see that again. So there is this new Tesla. I, I actually don't think I'm going to use it. I am, I don't know, give it a try. Let me know in the comments what you think. But I don't think I'm going to use it because I think the sensors work better than this vision stuff. Anywho. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was useful. If it has been helpful or useful, please like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for your support and we'll uh, catch you on the next one. Safe and happy driving. Short, unlike middle aged white dude. I've got thinning brown hair, black glass, and wear a light blue t shirt with my logo on it. Pretty cool, right? And I'm sticking my test. Uh, shorts. <clears throat> for cars without the um, USS which I think is the sensors basically it's it's got like the sonic the, the, the ultrasonic sensors there we go ultrasonic sensors so this oh, stop burping and then you try it again okay and <clears throat> it looks okay yeah it looks alright okay <clears throat> start again take three <clears throat>